Okay, I made my bird black and my background all Pantone black to show you guys what to do to print a one color because it involves an extra step that would normally be something that you would have to do. Okay, one way to get around this is just design your one color in very, very black to begin with, but you want to get used to switching things over to Pantone for when you do more than one color. So um, have your have it already in Pantone. You can see it up there, right? So when you go to print it, you're going to come up here to a file, go down to print. Okay, you're going to, it's going to pop up under general. If it pops up under output, then you need to go to general and change things there. Right now, for example, mine is set on the big, big printer in the classroom. We want the one that is in 2203. If you choose the 226 P2, that'll print out in the computer classroom we're in and uh, it doesn't have the right size paper. So when I choose P1 in 2203, when I come down to here by media size, I will find tabloid. And that is what we've done, right? And then you'll see the whole thing as it's going to print. If you don't find Tableau in the drop-down list, that means you're on the wrong computer. It won't show up if you're on a computer that it won't print Tableau on. Okay, uh, you want to come down here after that to output. And we eventually will be doing separations right now. It's showing you everything, so it's on composite. Go to the separations. It shows you all these extra guys down here, and sometimes they are also clicked on. Sometimes, too, there will be a scrolling bar over here. That means that you have to pay attention to the whole set of colors just in case there's something up on the top of the list that still has this on. If this is still on, it's not going to go through properly. You're going to end up with a grayish sort of color when it comes out, or you might have a combo of colors, and we want it all to be as black as possible. So you need to click that off and make sure that you're in separations and clicked on to your Pantone color, which in this case is black, with everything else clicked off before you go ahead and print it. And then it should pop out in the other room, because we haven't got it moved to this room yet. It should be popped out in the other room on vellum. The disadvantage is that we're going to have to run back and forth between that to make sure that you have vellum in there and that you're not printing your testing page out on a lot of expensive vellum. Uh, also kind of pay attention to this area right here. If you have that, you can mess around with these other settings to avoid that and make it a bleed print. But just say this little dotted line shows up, then you got to make sure that your art piece isn't outside of that, otherwise it will cut off that little line when it uh, prints out on the vellum, and that'll be annoying. You can also take it and click and drag your image around, just say it's not exactly in the place you thought it was going to be. Just That's just a little insight. Okay, and then you go ahead and print it, and it should print out uh, like you want it, this one color.